Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on quadratics and their applications. This problem says the profit a small business owner can make each month can be modeled by this equation, where x is the amount charged per item and p of x is the profit in hundreds of dollars. This is really important, otherwise if we don't remember that one small piece, all of our calculations get wacky. Okay, how much should the small business owner charge if she is hoping for a profit of $9,000 per week? So I wanna kinda of mention the fact that this profit equation is going to look like this, where if she doesn't charge anything, she won't make anything. If she charges too much, she won't make anything. If she charges a little bit, people aren't gonna think there's quality and she's probably not gonna make as much profit. If she charges too much, people think, who does she think she is to charge so much? And she probably won't make as much. So you kind of, when you're in business, you wanna find that sweet spot. So it says, how much would sh should the small business owner charge if she is hoping for a $9,000 profit per week? So when is negative x squared over 625 plus 4 fifths x equal, now this is in hundreds of dollars. So 9,000 divided by 100 is 90, 90 hundred dollars. So I'm gonna do a few things in my next step. I'm gonna subtract 90 from my either side, but also to make my calculations a little simpler, I'm gonna make this negative one over 625 X squared. I could go to decimal, but I'm not going to. This one I am gonna to go to decimal because four fifths is one that I know. It's 0 0.8 X minus 90 equals zero. And that's just gonna help when we go to solve this because we're gonna solve it with a quadratic formula. We're gonna, the quadratic formula says x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Um, we're using the quadratic formula because a is really ugly and it might be factorable, but it would just be faster to use the quadratic formula and not worry about it. All right, x equals negative b, that's negative 0.8 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 0.8 squared minus four times negative one over 625 times c, which is a negative 90, all over 2a, two times negative one over 625. This is one you should practice putting in your calculator. There's a lot going on. Make sure that the fraction, you do this addition and subtraction before you divide. Also realize this is two equations. You're gonna type in negative 0.8 minus the square root of all of this, all divided by this, and then you're gonna do negative 0.8 plus, and so on and so forth. When you do put this into your calculator, and honestly, the two answers that I got are um, 329.06 and 170.94. The order is backwards because it's negative. Um, make sure you're getting these, like pause the video, play with your calculator, make sure you're getting these two answers. So she should charge $130 or 329.06. I didn't tell you in the directions how many decimal places to go, but money is always two decimal places. So the fact that it says money tells you exactly what you round to. Okay, it says, what is her profit if she charges $400 per item? This is honestly just a plug and chug. This is saying what's P of 400. P of 400 is negative 400 squared divided by 625 plus 4 fifths times 400, which is going to give us a grand total of 64 or the profit of 6400. The last question says, can she make a profit of $1,500? So the question is, can we make negative X squared over 625 plus four fifths X equal 150. Um, so 
there's a lot of ways of doing this. We could use the quadratic formula again. We could do the b squared minus 4ac and see what happens to see if it's a positive or a negative because if it is negative, it doesn't work. So if we test out b squared, so that 0 0.8 squared minus 4 times negative 1 over 625 times a negative 150, this one I don't actually have pre-calculated, unfortunately, times, because there's another way we can do what I was going to do, but I think this is better, 625 times 150. If I put this into my calculator, I get negative 0.32. And because the discriminant, the part that is under the square root, is negative, that means no. This profit is not reasonable. So what's happening, again, if we go back to my little graph here, I just asked about a profit that is above the line of possibilities. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.